Today, on World AIDS Day, we celebrate the incredible progress that has been made in the fight against HIV. This includes breakthroughs that have created lasting positive change for millions of children, adolescents, and pregnant women across the globe. A growing number of countries are moving closer to eliminating vertical transmission of HIV from mother to baby. And in recent years, more governments are working to integrate a comprehensive HIV response into their national primary healthcare systems. Just this year, 12 countries signed on to the new joint global initiative of UNAIDS, UNICEF, and WHO to end AIDS in children by 2030. But these breakthroughs are not enough. We know that last year, 110,000 children and adolescents died from AIDS-related causes, and another 310,000 were newly infected. This brings the total number of young people living with HIV to 2.7 million globally. Meanwhile, progress in HIV prevention and treatment for children, adolescents, and pregnant women has nearly flatlined. Today, only half of children and adolescents living with HIV are receiving treatment, compared with three quarters of adults. Unless this inequity is addressed, ending AIDS in children will remain a distant dream. But we have the knowledge, expertise, and power to change this. With renewed political commitment to reaching the most vulnerable, with strengthened partnerships, and with additional resources to expand treatment and prevention programs that reach children, adolescents, and their families, we can meet the targets we set as a global community to end AIDS. UNICEF will be there every step of the way to champion the needs, amplify the voices, and to uphold the rights of children, adolescents, and their families living with and affected by HIV. The theme of this World AIDS Day is Equalize. Let us pledge now to end the inequality in access to quality HIV prevention, treatment, and care services. Together, we can end AIDS in children by 2030.